Hello, and welcome to the Cytoscape Gaming Podcast, episode 39. I'm your host, Jake Burke, and joined, as always, by James St. Charles and the cyber bitch himself, Ted Libby. Beautiful. Now, I don't know, Ted, was that a good nickname? Do we want to restart? No, no. Let's try that's again. A, that's, try again. A, that's amazing, dude. Try again. Try again. Cyberpunk-ass bitch. There it is. There, there it is. is. <laughs> all right, all right. We're going to start the there show now. Hello. And welcome back to the Sidescape Gaming Podcast, episode 39. I'm your host, Jake Burke, and joined, as always, by James St. Charles and the cyberpunk bitch-ass Ted Libby. Ted, how are you doing? It only took the second take, third take. Second, It was second. Don't fucking yeah. throw in another take for the, for the audience. <laughs> I don't screw up that much. Because no, this no. is the Side Escape Gaming Podcast, episode 39, where every Monday morning a new episode goes live on YouTube.com, SoundCloud, and Spotify. Once a week, we sit down and chat across 500 miles to talk about a gaming-related topic and what games we are playing. Our main topic today is we have all played Cyberpunk 2077. It doesn't feel real because that game is never supposed to come out because it was announced in 2012. And if you enjoy the show, remember to subscribe, like, and maybe leave a comment. And please, for the love of God, tell your mother. Ted, we're getting your mother a YouTube account. All it's right, a process, boys. trust me. Before we get to the Cyberpunk news of all our lives, the Game Awards just happened. I want to go through yes. just kind of, we did our predictions last week. I want to let you know I kicked ass. Uh, the total, we, we read it on, uh, I think, 17 awards. And out of 17, I got 15. James got 12. Ted got nine. The most yep. impressive victory is James did guess the correct esports coach of the year. <laughs> okay. I want to be honest, that is the most impressive. I got most impressive. <laughs> yeah, most impressive. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to go through like which ones we all picked, but just uh, big things that I think are cool and cool. Uh, best RPG was Final Fantasy VII Remake. Best action yes. game was Hades. Best action adventure game was The Last of Us Part Two. Best performance was Laura Bailey for Abby in The Last of Us Part Two. Best indie game was Hades. Uh, best score was Final Fantasy VII. Best audio design was The Last of Us Part Two. Best art direction was Ghost of Tsushima, like we all predicted, which I think was really cool. Best narrative was The Last of Us Part Two. Game direction and game of the year were all Last of Us Part Two. So. Matt, really cleaned awards? up the big awards. That's what I'd say. Yeah, favorite. definitely. Uh, I thought Happy it was for them. Be a little more Animal Crossing focused, and I'm glad that it wasn't. Um, mm, yeah. But also some cool things that were announced. Mass Effect um, is coming back, and it will continue. It looks like it's going to be a continuation of Mass Effect 3, so we'll see where that goes. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, also they announced a new Perfect Dark, which is insane. That was awesome. That trailer looks so good. Yeah. I was like, man, yeah. is this like a new Cyberpunk? Yeah, so I was like, are they showing a trailer for Cyberpunk? Like DLC? And then, no. There will always be a dystopian near future game exactly. coming out eventually. Just yes. one of them. And uh, yeah. Sephiroth was announced as the new Smash, Bro- Smash Bros. character. So that was a dope and very hype trailer. So, right away, too. Like, yeah, boom, was the here's first your character. That was, uh, it was good stuff. So mm-hmm. I, I thought the production was pretty good, but we don't have to really dive into it. What we do need to dive into, Cyberpunk 2077. Seven. I'm going to jack in right now. Jack in. Let's all jack in. Jack in. All right. I want to know, uh, first off, what are you guys playing Cyberpunk on? Ted. Okay. All right. Full spec list. Let's go. I'm using an SSD, 500 gig. No. Um, Just PC. I am on... what's, your, what's your graphics card? Yeah, oh, PC yeah, and uh, graphics card. Uh, I'm playing on a 1080 Okay. Good. on a PC. And it's, okay. it's fun. I'm playing on high graphics, and I have not had any issues. Yep. Yeah. James? So I'm playing on a 3080, ultra, high to ultra, 1440p, uh, 60 to 70 frames, which is pretty good. The drops sometimes happen with like some major action, mm-hmm. like to like 45, 50, but it's, uh, it's clean. Uh, and then I'm playing on Xbox Series S. Um, S, not X. S, not X. Yeah, just S, a little <laughs> white box. Um, yes. I do want to talk about technical stuff because I'm sure there's a lot of different things and I want to go through crazy bugs and shit that we've all encountered because I'm sure we have. I today was... Mm-hmm passenger in a car and i reloaded in a save and i was inside the driver and i was seeing their eyes move up and down and that was <laughs> such an interesting glitch um but i want to know first how many hours are you guys into it and then what are your first impressions ted i have put in five six hours okay basically uh in one stint yesterday have you hit the title uh, screen i i have basically hit the title screen okay. and quit after that because i had to go to bed yep um do you want me to go into my first impressions right now? Uh, let's go. Let's come back to it. I want to. I want to okay. go around yeah. the circle. Yeah, James. I'm basically right around where Ted is. Actually, Ted, where did, where did you start us? Uh, are you nomad or? Oh, yeah, I sure. am a corpo. Ooh, corpo, okay, perfect. We're all different. Uh, we all got different ones. Yeah, because yeah, I wanted to live that high life. Mm-hmm. How, did, how was okay. the intro to corpo? 
it was fine. Yeah, I think all the intros are kind of underwhelming. Yeah, it was, they're it, underwhelming. It, yeah. it had a couple interesting moments. I think honestly, the the dialogue options I get as a person of a corporate background is much cooler than the actual intro itself. I'm really happy I got those because I can be kind of a classist asshole to people. Okay, yeah, I'm a, I'm a street kid, so I'm like a little more gruff and yeah level-headed. But I know a lot about the gangs, which is always kind of fun to like talk to people about the gangs. Uh, James, how many hours in you? I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm around seven to eight. Okay, a little bit after uh, title. Okay, um, I am fifteen hours in. Okay. So um, yeah. So you're almost done. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Um, Halfway there. So I want to before we get into bugs, technical issues. If you've had any of those, I want you to kind of wipe the ball out. What are your first impressions of Cyberpunk 2077? Ted, I want to start with you. I think we're going in a cool little round robin here. All right. All right. Uh, should we do uh, pros and cons? Pluses yeah. And just just broad strokes of what is your first impression. Uh, so I find the world itself dazzling. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually think it's very cool. Uh, every, every time I pause the camera and just stare at something, it's beautiful, yep. which is very, very cool. Um, and I think all the aspects, the narrative parts that make it an RPG feel very fun. Uh, the dialogue trees being very much based around your starting personality, mm -hmm. uh, and kind of your, your character's class or attributes yep. kind of defining a lot of those dialogue choices, just cool. Um, and it never feels like, oh, I didn't spec in, a, in charisma, so I just fail all talking. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. like, oh, I'm good at hacking, so I can answer this hacking question. I love that. I love thing. that aspect of it. It's like dialogue yeah. options are associated with different skills, not just a yeah. talking skill. Um, of my, in my character creator, I maxed out cool. because Of course you did. Of course I did. I'm a, cor I'm a cool corporate guy. Um, even though I don't really... That's stealth, but I don't really plan on Yeah, I don't stealth. like that cool is stealth, but whatever. Uh, but I really like having cool dialogue options so that <laughs> makes up for it um i think that's that's really neat mm -hmm. uh you know uh not to give away any story spoilers uh there's a moment when you're kind of have to go into uh, an unfriendly place and kind of talk to a guy about making a deal mm -hmm. and for mm -hmm. me uh the conversation very naturally just went south um mm -hmm. and i ended up pulling a gun and shooting this person and it was not like this is now the good guy, bad guy choice. It was like, okay, things are just not working out. Yep. Some of the things I'm saying he doesn't like, and now here we are. Uh, and I shot him, and then all of my complaints in the game happened at once, which is the combat. I think the combat is kind of boring and bland huh. and lame. Uh, what, I'm playing you, just on normal. Yeah, are you using guns, or what are you using? Yeah, what do you mean? Uh, I'm using guns, and I wanted to do kind of that in-game hacking. Yep, kind of okay. the like so they were trying to scan people kind of and build. do things to them uh and like i just i'm running around these really dark levels and people are shooting at me and i'm not quite seeing them i'm tagging the ones with i am with the the scanner with your eyes and that helps but it's mm -hmm. kind of just a little bit funky and i am just unloading entire magazines into people and they're not even dying it feels very chunky very spongy and very rpg yeah and so then i, I stop in each room after i just shotgun blast people and i look around the room and i pick up all these health items yep. and all these guns that look identical but their dps's are different so then i take some time going hey. through the menus yeah which are very cluttered and i pick the right shotgun that does 70.1 dps as opposed to 68 dps and then i get back in there and i blast people you know and it and you know it takes eight nine shotgun shells to kill some people mm -hmm. which is it just takes a while uh and it's it's just i don't know the, the shooting aspect in the combat isn't feeling that great. Hmm. So then, kind of later on, I try some more stealthy stuff, and it's fun, except there are points where you just get detected and stealth is over, and it will never yeah, come so back again. Just, yeah. just on this point, I think the stealth is terrible. Stealth mm -hmm. shit. And I really wanted to be a stealthy kind of character, and it is... Yeah. You get into, like, rooms where, like, it looks like it's laid out to be stealth, but there's no possible way you could stealth around this room. Yeah. No, there's some times when you're... It's, like, not possible to even, like, remotely be stealth yeah and then there's like i think at the beginning mission where Ted was talking about like in that mission i was like okay i'm, I'm cool i got a cool build yep uh let's go stealth and i come in right away and i get shot i was yeah. like okay well that's over let's just like guns Lay blaze the whole thing so now i'm i'm, I'm in your guys logic i'm trying to move away from guns i'm gonna go yeah. like melee okay because I think yeah, it's it's just the, there's no way stealth is gonna. Work. I just unlocked the, the blades that come out of your arms, and it's oh, fucking the awesome. Blades. The mantis yeah, blades I'm, I'm so gonna cool. go melee. Yeah, I think so. the melee is really neat. I'm gonna try and go for more of this, like hacking. Not the mm -hmm. hacking the mini game, but hacking the in game. Kind yeah, of, it's like you're. It's like a caster. It's like mana basically. 
and yeah. you're kind of casting hacks as opposed to pausing and doing something. Um, I think that could be sure. interesting with more resources, but I just don't have them right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to, uh, I I think... let's jump to James really quick and then we'll come back to like yeah. our more specific problems yeah. or likes with the game. James, what are your kind of first yeah. broad impressions? Yeah. So first impressions is beautiful. Like it's study yeah. story is so far is great. Like mm -hmm. I like the dialogue. If you're someone who doesn't like to like sit through uh, conversations, yeah. Yeah. maybe this game isn't for you. Yes. But the conversations are great. Like I, I the actually like incredible. that dialogue. But yeah, acting's great. The yeah. uh, writing is great. Yep. Um, and then combat wise, I get what you're saying about like uh, enemies being squishy. But I kind of like the combat. Like the guns feel nice. Like oh, it's yeah, just I don't like, have a problem with the they, shooting. And they have good gun feel. Like it's like yeah. beautiful. Driving, I swear, like starting car is absolute crap. Just the drive a motorcycle. Awful. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm moved. Yeah. yeah, do not even attempt the, the starting, or I'm just stealing like whatever I can find. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, item wise, like so, basically, it's it's kind of reminds me of playing The Witcher. I'm like just always trying to grab like the best armor, the best items. Yeah. Like I, I yeah. there's like junk, junk it. So it has that RPG feel to it. Um, and then are we gonna talk about bugs or do we let's come back to later? bugs? Let me let me start okay. with impressions. I want to do like kind of layers. Yeah. Of this. Uh, but I don't I'm I'm at a point where like I am debating putting this game on hold and waiting for more fixes. Mm. Ooh. Like Ooh. there's well we'll talk about the bugs. So have you crashed at all? Yeah. Oh I've crashed. I have not crashed I've, on the Xbox Series S. I've had yeah. zero crashes. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, I've I've heard things yeah. about the technical problems. Yep. Yeah, which I've just we, had which we will we'll get back to. Yeah, we'll come back to this. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, um, but what do you think? yeah. So, so my first impressions were my my first day was like I want to get past the six hour tutorial because um, yeah. that's kind of what it is. It's like six hours of tutorial. Yeah, kind of. it, it feels. It good. doesn't feel it tutorially, but yeah, it, it doesn't feel open in an, mm -hmm. in a weird way. No. I don't know. It feels very like and, and I have a weird complaint. And I'll get to it in a minute. Um, but I really wasn't like stoked with this game the first six hours because and I think this is a big problem with just how CD Projekt Red handled this development cycle and kind of all the consoles of like, this is the game that's going to change games. This is the next RPG that changes how we think about RPGs. So I came in like with that mindset of like, we're going to experience a revolution. It didn't happen. No, and so, so then my head was like, oh, this is like a nicer Skyrim. This is just like another RPG. That's a higher production value Skyrim. And now uh, I've been, Jay, can you please reference games that we've all played? Yeah. Sorry, James. Uh, Skyrim <laughs> is an RPG by Bethesda. Pretty popular. Is that um, like Witcher? Yeah, it's like Witcher, no, no. but like first person and like on every console ever. Um, they're gotcha. making an N64 card for it as well. Um, that sounds amazing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway. Uh, yeah, but so I, I like kind of readjusted my expectations for what this game is and was. And I started to really, I wouldn't say love it, but really, really like it. Um, mm -hmm. Where I came out of my session yesterday and I was like, I told Maddie, I was like, I'm hooked. Like I'm into this game now. Like I'm really into this game and what it's doing. Um, I think that the way that this game introduces stuff to you is fucking terrible. And yes. Like, like what? Like you get out of your first like main mission and there's like 3000 side quests that just load into your little <laughs> queue. And I'm like, what am so I you doing? Mean, with you mean uh, mechanics, not necessarily yeah. like narrative stuff. No, okay. not, I mean, no, I think the narrative is incredible. I really think the yeah, story yeah. is like good and the acting. Well, and yeah, the, I, I, the I mean, deeper than just a story. I mean like world building. Stuff. No, I, mean, I don't think world building, but like first, like it's got weird little nods to like, it doesn't tell you where your apartment is. Like you have to no. know that your apartment is in that one block. You have and to I, look at it. It'll tell you. It's like your apartment's here. It's like th that gray marker yeah, is my apartment. It's like, like, the, like, <laughs> no, the, like the mini map yeah. is really poorly designed. I believe in my opinion, yeah. like the map you actually go to. But I, I think really I'm what I'm talking about is the introduction of just like tools and stuff. And like, yeah, like, so you can do bounties on people. I have no idea actually like how to do a bounty, even though, cause it like popped up a little thing. Like you can do bounties for the cops. And it's like, there should be a mission that introduces me on, how to do a bounty like yeah, like how, yeah. how do i help cops how do i help yeah. get, like i none of that like it was like sh shown to you but then it's like really okay, quickly. And then just, yeah in, into like yeah. while the story is engaging rather than like each yeah. main mission is introducing a new chunk of what you can do mm -hmm. um and so i started to really learn that like in my like 10th hour or whatever i was like oh okay here's how i help the cops here's how i do this and then i started putting the pieces together on my own and that was fun but i don't yeah. think it's good game design <laughs> it's like yeah it's, it's one of those things where it's like do they do you want them to hold your hand or do you want them to just like you be free and do whatever you want? Yeah. But like there needs to be like a middle ground. Like you, this is how you would do those things. Cause yeah, it's just yeah. like, it gives it to you all. Like you could just like literally start, start the game right after away. you like get, get a night city and then just go wherever you want. Yeah. But, uh, 
like what do you do <laughs> you, don't, you, you don't know like the tutorial like the tutorial where it shows you like gunplay and all that like doesn't show you everything no so. and th so that's why i was kind of i was overwhelmed and, and i'm not the biggest open world guy like right away it's really got to be me too intricately yeah. set up for me and mm -hmm. so i it was not and i was very disappointed by it in the first beginning now going through the game 15 hours in really liking it i really like the story uh, Keanu Reeves is all over this game and he's yes. every time he comes up I get really excited um, it pulls <laughs> me good. pulls me out a little bit of the game because like that's Keanu Reeves but it's True. cool that, like he's in it yeah. and, and it, it adds a certain level to kind of what this game is when, when you fun. see those type of characters because there is a streamer Co Carnage was uh, put into the game yeah. and he's like some crazy fanatic it was amazing when I turned around and saw him like I heard his voice I was like is that that streamer Co and I was like that's that's a, that's a cool thing that they did yeah like uh, so. Hideo Kojima is in the game as just like Ooh, a bar, as a bar patron, I think he's like at the afterlife. Um, <laughs> that's it's really cool. It's like stuff like that's fun. Um, but now I'm really digging it. I really like I really like the gunplay. Um, stealth mm. is like awful. Um, yes. But I really enjoy I, the thing I don't love is that like it's a first person game, and you have clothes that you put on, but you really can never see them. And then yeah, you can't like keep the clothes you like. So if you have like no. a cool look, it's like okay, now I got to put on these sparkle pants because they're yeah. seven points better and like. Do I ever come back to yeah, looking how I want to look? Is is taking one step forward and one step back yep. in the RPG world, but and it's that's kind of weird. That's mm -hmm. how they're doing it with Witcher. If that makes, it's like when you would buy armor, it's like all right, I guess I'm getting this armor. But you could get like the good armor sets and just yeah. max those. This is just like you yeah. have to get that item. It's like what's the point? Like I'm just gonna like try and get a higher armor item. Yeah, so you never I'm, see I'm it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah. I, I think I every once in a while fall into a mindset playing this of like oh it's like GTA. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna make a character that looks cool and shoot a guy and steal a car, and then all of a sudden it throws a very old school RPG in my face of like you can't do that because stats. Yeah, and and it's it's like it it's a little jarring. It's not a big deal, but it is just like oh yeah, my character's gonna look ridiculous because I need the best armor, mm -hmm. which means I'm gonna be wearing a skirt and a fedora and yeah. a combat vest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. I had yeah. like a bulletproof <laughs> vest and booty shorts on, like in, in my yes. boots, and I was like. Well, it just looks cool. So every time I'd get on a motorcycle, I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Forgot that's ooh. what my guy looked like. He just slaughtered yeah. like a gang. Um, <laughs> but I think all these side activities are pretty engaging. I would say, like, they're not revolutionary by any means, but, like, it's fun to go help the cops kill somebody, and then you get money, and then you can do this. Um, yeah. Have you guys bought any cars? Not yet. Okay, because I was kind of curious. I've they really drive buddy. differently. Yeah. Picking up a bunch of guns, selling a bunch of guns. Like, that's all I'm just Yeah, I honestly money. haven't really touched much of the, your menu. Okay. Which is a thing I do in RPGs anyway. I like to hoard a lot of my points until I decide what kind of gameplay path I want to go down. Smart. But I also have I not... Should. I have not had an issue with inventory space and have not really looked at it beyond getting the best gun and then kind of selling off the rest. Yeah. I've been I've been maxed uh, out. It's, it's just like, you know, like Skyrim, like where... You're over covered. Yeah. Witcher, you, you're yeah. overcome, but you could dash, so you can just keep dashing all the way. And you just like, yeah. so it doesn't matter. The dash is broken. Can we talk about the dash really quick? That literally destroys stealth. If you're like trying to be stealth and you accidentally hit your dash, you oh, like you double, get out of stealth. Like yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, the the dodge. Yeah, yeah. I don't the know, I don't know how to dodge. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I guess for keyboard, it just. I'm like, I don't think I have a dodge in this game, but yeah, everyone the... must. It's I don't like, know how it would work for control or something like, like that. Yeah. Okay. For us, it's like A and, a and D, so W, A, C, movement, and yeah. A or D, double tap, you just like, you know, dash. Oh, God. Over to the left or right. Yeah, which counts a loud noise. So it's like, you're trying to like move like really quickly. So it would be like sticky keys. Like you just move really quickly, you accidentally double click, and then you're, you're, you broke out of oh, like stealth. hiding. Yeah. Yeah. How does so this game, how does it look on your PC? Like, does it look really good? With, like, oh, yeah. Really? Okay. It doesn't but, look great on the Xbox. If um, for, it doesn't look bad. I'm not a good judge of yeah. graphics. It definitely does not look bad, but I'm not really aiming for this. The this game here. is not going to look really good no. unless you have like the best system because mm -hmm. there's just so much stuff in there. Like, I turned off film grain because that was just looked to terrible. Yeah, but then once I turn it off, I got like 70 more frames. I turned off ray tracing because I was just eating up too much. It's just not worth. And then my shadows all that, that's what i was curious because like for me playing assassin's creed uh valhalla on my xbox i was like whoa like this is yeah. incredible yeah. the lighting and everything obviously very different technical games but um going into like cyberpunk there's not like any really interesting like lighting effects or anything and like it's everything's neon it should be really coolly lit through smoke and through stuff and it's just like it's really 
plastic the optimization is not yeah. there and everyone has to play in poor quality so yeah. that's why it's that's yeah. another thing and yeah so uh, yeah it's just that's disappointing about this game is it yeah for yeah. you that might be the difference between the series x and the series s yeah in terms but of i heard series x is also like not as good so it's just again it's consoles i don't know is ps5 looking the best i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume but it doesn't work on ps4 like the majority yeah. of people on ps4 can't really yeah this i think yeah, they literally should have announced that like we're just not gonna support last gen because <laughs> seeing as the spec wise it's just uh yeah they should have yes but that's a very tough thing to do they, when you're they're five probably years in. and you've taken pre-orders four years ago yeah yeah i guess or eight years ago <laughs> I shouldn't have done the pre-orders. No, this game's been pre-ordered for a very long time. So are, are you guys... So James, you mentioned you may not play it for a while and just let it sit. Yeah, do we want to get into the, the bugs? Yeah, let's talk about bugs. Let's talk about issues. Okay, talk yeah. about, you talk about your like, gripes. James, you sound like you've had the worst trouble with it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I think I've just been unlucky, but I, don't, I was wondering, I'm only doing Nomad, and I, I'm guessing, you know, we all have different starting yeah. and stuff. So right away when I started the game, I didn't even know I had a bug, but I did, and it was a... Uh, I picked up an item, and I got in my car, and it still showed there the entire time. I've had that. Yeah. yeah and I, I was like, but it was covering what you needed to do. Yeah, it covers up like so special I, information. I, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And then I was like, wait a second, I reloaded it, it fixed yep, it. That's all I did. So that, that was just like a really minor bug. And then but a critical bug, I would say. I mean, I've had like the car bug as well, like loading in. Mm-hmm. Um, a critical bug I've had is an enemy not spawning, which I think that's that's I basically had to redo the mission. Yeah, yeah. So I would clear room, and it's like I looked it up, and it was like, yeah, there's an enemy missing, or sometimes the enemy doesn't spawn, yeah. or sometimes the body doesn't spawn. There are some missions, and I like read more because I was reading through, like all the bugs are being reported. There's some missions huh. that are unplayable; they hot fix though, but yeah, it's just that was really like disappointing because like I did all this work, and then I have to like go back and then redo all yeah. that work. That um, sucks. it's like if I had to keep doing that, if that's like something that's gonna be prevalent through a playthrough. That's gonna really destroy like my feeling on the game. Totally. So, it's like, do I just wait a couple weeks because they said they're working on some patches and hopefully they get a patch that's like better and fixes most of that stuff, yeah. or do I just chug through it and you know I'm still getting a good experience. Like it's a bug like every like you know a couple hours or something like that. But yeah, the most part they're just minor bugs and <laughs> that's dealable given the scale of this game, but. When I did, you ever see Giant Bob's like once they looked at the embargo, like what their review was? No. It, no. It, you should look it up. There's a good, it's a good clip. They're like five, four, three, two, one. They should have delayed the game. They should have delayed it longer. <laughs> it, was so great. <laughs> it was the best thing. And that's I was yeah. like, okay, now I feel that way. Like maybe they should have delayed this game a little bit longer. Yeah. Because they had so many things come up last minute, like the epilepsy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So many I heard fun, about they, that. They, and then they had a song for the DMs for the streamers. They had a song that was actually DMCA. So yeah, they had so to go. They, like screwed a bunch of screamers. Yeah, streamers. Uh, it's um, I don't know. Like that. That's so, see. Yeah, it seems like I have had the worst bugs, but uh, yeah, it definitely looks good. <laughs> yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I, have, I, you know, I've grown up uh, with Bethesda games, so I'm I'm kind of used to quirky bugs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as long as it doesn't break the game, I'm really not too much of an issue with it. I've only had one problem and that was uh, a character was supposed to spawn with an elevator pass and he didn't and that was a problem yeah mm-hmm. uh and eventually i just ended up dying so it was fine uh, and then when he did spawn uh the elevator didn't work and it was, it was just kind of a weird thing um mm-hmm. not a big deal uh the funny bug that i had is uh my character every time the camera or the you know cinematography would switch to more of a third person view um i would not be wearing pants which in most games <laughs> is funny. In Cyberpunk, it means that my Ridiculous massive dong. circumcised dong is yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the thing in the character creator. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that was a little weird to just be going in a first, sitting in a chair in first person and then <laughs> I turn on dominance. my new cyber eye and I'm just not wearing pants and my dick is out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, 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 hold on. It's a bad dream. Uh, yeah, and I'll click on yeah. the smart mirror and I'm, my character is just not wearing pants. So every time I click on smart mirror, because I have a hat on, I have no hair and no hat. Yeah. So I'm just like a bald yeah. dude. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, the, the goofy <laughs> cosmetic bugs, uh, they're funny, I guess. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm not those are funny bugs. It. Those I don't hold it against it. Like, yeah, I was, I was driving wild. in a car, like, as a passenger, and in front of us, like, cars just kept spawning in and yeah. moving. So it was just like a sea of like gray cars going over this like hill all in unison. Yeah, and I was like, these are just like whatever. Yeah, these are it's fine. Um, I'm lucky in that. A bug hasn't ruined a, a visual bug hasn't ruined a big story moment. Yeah. Or an actual game breaking bug hasn't set me back too far. Um, yeah. It's just 
things. I bet you a lot of the a lot of the important bugs will get fixed soon, and by January you'll be able to play the game start to finish without too much issue. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. on um, PC for sure. We'll see about yeah. consoles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, I, have a, I have another quick thing. Yeah. Just not not a bug, but sort of like a key bindings is for PC. C is crouch, but also C is to skip ahead. So sometimes oh, you'll be like minus, doing yeah, with B. So you'll be doing yeah. something like you'll be crouching, and then like someone will try and talk to you, and you just skip the whole line that they said. So it's just like, oh yeah, I can't go back yeah. unless I want to reload. Yeah. It's like I don't want to do that. So it's just like you could skip key critical information, yeah, just because those are on the same binding. Yeah, that's like, same button. <laughs> why or why not have a hold? That's hold the skip ahead. Why is it just press? How, that's how my is biggest... it for? Oh, sorry. No, oh, that's that's just my biggest draw to this is the dialogue. So it's just the idea of accidentally skipping it is like my worst thing. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. weird. That that's like just a preset option. You can turn that off, by the way. Yeah, the dialogue skip. Um, I'm gonna do it, yeah. Um, have you guys had any like horrible like uh, checkpoint systems where like you'll go into a room, clear it, and then like someone will come in and kill you, and like it won't have checkpointed and saved? No, uh, I'm I. Wait, what difficulty are you playing on? Sorry, I think Art? normal. Yeah. Normal. I, I haven't. Died. I've yes. only died by randomly exploding by like something that blows up behind me and kills me. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been pretty good. I am lucky. I was playing with a controller, but I had a keyboard nearby to just slap F5 a lot to quick save. Oh, smart. best button in any game. Yeah, um, smart. Uh, and even the checkpoints that have been not my quick save have been pretty okay. Okay. Yeah, I've had a few yeah, missions I've been that, like, really I get save. bumped way the fuck back. And yeah, I'm like, usually, I'm side missions again. get get dumped on for that kind of thing. If yeah. you die at the end of a side mission or, or a side encounter, yeah, that happens. And I have I have one mission that I can't complete, but it's a very minor like side mission where you're supposed to like get a free upgrade from a dude, mm -hmm. and I've gotten the free upgrade and it just hasn't completed the mission. Oof. So like I don't know if there's more after that mission and like I'm screwed, mm -hmm. but I can't complete one called the gig. So the gig. Yeah, I'm like oh, that's kind of sucks. I um, believe there's more because aren't gigs uh. Pretty yeah, no, thing. no, there's a, but there's a side mission called the oh, gig oh, okay. and then there are gigs. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's so yeah. weird. This um, is what do you think about the world? Cause the world I think is fucking awesome. Yeah. I think, I think it's not too big. It's like just right. Yes. That, that's how I feel. It's good scale. Like that's yeah. what I, I'm, I feel immersed in the city. So, and I think the first like person it. view does really help being immersed. I, yes. yes. I, yeah. I like it a lot. Um, I think that it's, it, throws a little bit too much adolescence at you uh it is very sexual mm -hmm. yes which drugs, is a bad thing. yeah drugs <laughs> sex it's very underbelly ish which is fine it's I kind of part of the theme it's like blade runner yeah. Yeah. yeah um but where blade runner might have a more mellow subtle take on that kind of thing this is very in your face yeah uh, and the I, fact I can that, see that i hear orgasm noises every 15 yes! seconds <laughs> and yeah. you see dildos everywhere. You see dildo shops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's a little much. It's I kind of I'm digging the vibe mm -hmm. right now, but I could see this 15 hours later being like, all right, I get it. Yeah. Sex ads. Like that's why I wear yeah. headphones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want um, but I I I really love the world. Uh, the corporate intro has a bit where you get to fly in a private car just around the city at night. And it's Ooh. very cool. It's very Blade Runner, and I was just staring out the window like, whoa. Fuck, now I kind of wish I played corporate. Yeah. The street, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm so curious. What did the Nomad entrance, how did, how did you start Nomad, James? Like, okay. What did you do? Let me explain the Nomad entrance. Oh, no. So first, you, you start out in a garage fixing your car, okay. and you do it yourself. And it's like, okay, let's fix my car. And then some asshole sheriff comes in and just like just giving you a hard time. So I'm just picking all like the snobby like dialogue options just to like not give him the time of day. And then he eventually just like it's like, hey, you're no bad. Uh, you gotta you're not with your tribe. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'm just alone. He's like, oh wow, you you need to get, get yourself going. You need to get e god. <laughs> like that's what he's like. You ain't for around these parts. I'm like, okay, I'm I'm leaving. Don't worry. So <laughs> after that, it's like I try to run him over and I can't. So that sucked. But then I, I get out of the garage and then I have to go to a, a communications tower. So I go and drive to the communication tower. This is with the bug covering up what I need to do. Okay. But luckily I have the map. So I go to the communications tower and I have to climb the tower. And I was like, wow, this is very Far Cry-esque. Yeah. Literally, this is like Far Cry where you go up and like activate the communications. So I go up there, activate the communications, talk with like a nomad, um, like ex, you're an ex-nomad basically. So you okay. talk with a friend to give you information to get into Night City, like a hookup. And so uh, you do that. He's like, yeah, you left, you left the group. I was like, 
yeah. So that's like a big thing at the beginning, like really solidify the nomads are a group. They're a group people. people. So then you go and meet up with your contact and you get in the night city. Like if you go to the checkpoint, they give you a hard time and you get in. And then it skips, like, you know, it has a time skip. And then you're back in to the city. Like you, you pick up yeah, and that's, like, you've and been that's, established. that's everyone's. Yeah. 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 But, however, since then, my nomad kind of background has not played anything at all. Like it's not really? been like that. Yes, really? it hasn't. Oh. It hasn't been as like you're a no bad. This is what you do. Like you, this is your group. Nope. It's just like nope. You're gonna go here. You're gonna help this person. You're gonna Are do you this getting thing. nomad dialogue options? Mm, kinda, but it's just not really like no one's bringing it up. Like yeah. it's like mm. interesting. Yeah. Do you I've start with Jackie? Tons. Uh, no. Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. you start with Jackie. Yeah, yeah, you do. Sorry. Yeah, the dude. Okay, yeah, I think Jackie's your big dude. Yeah, big yeah, no matter who. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Big dude is Jackie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I've been getting tons of corporate corpo options to, to questions and it's great yeah i get a I bunch of that. street kid options yeah I, I rarely get nomad options sucks to be a nomad i guess okay. i don't know it just feels very like middle of the road yeah i've heard nomads probably the worst path is what i've heard it probably is when i talk to someone else they're like yeah nomads not good i'm yeah. like oh. yeah street kid you just started a bar and someone's like hey will you go steal this car to clear a debt and you're like sure and then you go to steal the car that's and, cool and and jackie like shows up and he tries to jackie like wants to kill you and then mm. and we're spoiling just all the intros, I guess, to this game. Uh, yeah. Jackie tries to kill you. And then the cops show up for the, um, like to, to like arrest you guys. And then you get, you and Jackie become friends and then you like go on your crime spree. Mm-hmm. And that's like the six month thing. Huh? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. It's all right. it, the, the beginnings, I think just, eh. yeah, but it was just, but then it picks fine. up. I, I, I'm oh. very intrigued by the story. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Story's I'm excited. Good, though. The writing. I'm excited for more, but I do have a, a lot of reservations about the actual game, the game. feel, the yeah. game here, uh, and I'm I'm just curious to see where it goes. I'm hoping I find a build or gameplay loop that I really dig, and I could just blast yeah, through a lot you. of the story. I'm stuff. going through melee. I'm going to see yeah. how melee works out. But that being said, um, it's like I'm still in like I'm just going to keep playing. If I get another like game breaking bug, I think I'm going to like put it on pause, put it down. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I'm playing. That sucks too. You mm-hmm. were so looking forward to this game. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. Like, it's just I know that they can like fix it. Yeah, because that's mm-hmm. th- their company. But it's like, man, I don't want to soil my like opinion opinion on it, on it just because totally. of this playthrough. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, well, yeah, I, I'm very excited to keep playing. I mean, I, I, mm-hmm. re- I really dig it. I, I think it's a great game. I think it just sucks that a lot of people are experiencing it in a very terrible negative way i saw playstation's yep. giving refunds for all playstation 4 users that ask because really it's so bad on ps4 yeah it's yeah. it's awful it's PS4, like almost you get 15 frames yeah. yeah it like chugs uh, I, and mm-hmm. so I, I saw them they are offering full yeah refunds. this is this is like for your average t- uh gamer this is like not the game no you need to like be an above ever- yeah you need to like have the equipment to play this game yeah so even yeah. like 970s, like for PCs, like those can barely run this game, which yeah. that would be considered like a high end card. That's like a $200 card. You yeah. need at least like a $300 card to play this plus your PC. Yeah. So then you need a new console. Like, so that sucks for people who are like last gen, like hoping to. I'm really glad play. I had my Series S because I would have had a fucking terrible experience. On yeah, PS4. that PS4 would have yeah. been. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I really like it though. I'm really excited about it. I love the setting. I think it's Cyberpunk is such a unique, like we don't get a lot of RPGs in a Cyberpunk setting. No. You know? Yeah. So it's kind of cool to have that like style and the vibe. Yeah, it's and... it's, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, it's immersive. Yeah. For it's sure. a very specific thought that I had due to my own complaints is that I kind of wish this wasn't the 3D RPG. I kind of wish it was an older school, kind of a Fallout One isometric, where it was much more just no. like text, text and dialogue, <laughs> and like kind of like a, a, the other game last year's Disco Elysium. Yeah, you can yeah, yeah. Play, play that new uh, completed edition. Yeah, I would have I would have taken Played something March. like in more of that style than this first person because yeah, every time it tries to be a thir- 3D shooty game, I'm kind of just nah, I'm kind of not feeling it. Yeah, it's but so funny. Every yeah. time we go back into dialogue and I'm chatting, you're with digging people, it. I'm like this is this is awesome. Yeah, I love like going into like just random fucking bars and you're like, this is just so cool. Like it's yeah. so Blade Runner. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Cyberpunk is a very cool aesthetic. Yeah, hands totally. down. Well, if we continue playing it, we will talk more about it uh, next week because I think that was kind of our, our initial thing was to talk about that and then the games we're looking forward to playing next week. But I want to know, have you played any other games this week besides Cyberpunk 2077? Because James said he yes. got a game for us. I got news. You got news. Last week. Last week, I talked about a game 
that I hadn't beaten yet, but I was close. That was Hades. Oh, yeah. And then oh, you suggested yeah. Gaze of Death Defiance. So I switched my tree, went to grab up a Death Defiance, like a two. Yeah. And I lad that play through, I won. Yep. So that was with the fists. Those, oh, okay. those are fun. Yeah, nice. are fun. Yeah. And then it. now it's like, hmm, I kind of want to get a win on every single yeah, weapon. Now. So, it's like, now that, so now I'm going to the sword yeah. and I'm going to like go all the way around. So now I'm, I'm on my way to another win, I think. Very we'll cool. see how it works out. But that ending um, to the first, I mean, I, I guess we could spoil yeah. it, I guess. But, but that first ending when you like you go out and you win, and you're like talking with your mom. And it's like, that's a really heavy kind of like, yeah. thing. It was like, nope, you need to go back. I was like, wait, what? Like, you're dying. Like, what? So I, I'm looking forward to more of those ending kind of things. Beat it 10 times. Now, I, be now yeah, yeah. Now I have an urge to like go and like keep beating the game. Yeah. And it's yeah. just fun. And now I can do the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, hell mode or is that what it's called? Yeah, like what the, is it called? Oh, you add the skulls yeah. and uh, add the skulls yeah, to like make it up. harder. Yeah. So I, I was like, I did a little bit of that. Yeah, like those little pack things, which make it harder, but it also makes it punishment, I think it's called. Pack to punishment. Yeah. yeah, that's what it's called. So you yeah. get something for like, you know, more difficulty, which yep. I think that's unique because it's like, I can see how easily it gets way too easy to beat this game because you're just going to mm-hmm. get like all the little pricks to help you. Yep. But then you just add, add a little difficulty and it's uh, pretty smooth. Yeah, there's a, there's a, pack to punishment that like changes the bosses which is really fun it's like each boss gets like new abilities which is really cool that's how you start getting the hydra's name you start naming the hydra Uh, yeah so before cyberpunk i was playing more hades very uh, nice enjoying that as and again it it won some good uh won two awards right what a fucking game which is it is is, when i was thinking about there needs to be a award for um like not like best company but something where it's like they treat their their employees Mm -hmm. right because I was reading up on Supergiant and like they gave their employees 20 days a year off, which is yeah. that's crazy. And like there's like barely any crunch after like all the crunch that was talking about Cyberpunk. And yeah, uh, well, they're yeah. still in it. Uh, They'll be in it for the next couple of years. Fuck. So did you see this about uh, CD Projekt Red, though, really quick, is that they had a, they share profits with like all their employees. That's yes. like a big thing they do. But the, yeah. the game has to get above a 90 on Metacritic. Like that's how they judge it. Right. It's like it hits a 90 mm-hmm. on Metacritic. We share the profits. The management pulled uh, that clause because they rushed out the game and like management took responsibility for it. So they I pulled mean, the clause. That's so good like, on management. Oh yeah, but, totally. It's really cool. But still, they made all their money back. They made yeah. all their money back. They literally, like, so they can refund no matter what on the PS4. It doesn't matter. They're still going to be making profit. It's it's so that let like okay, but hopefully they they won't just take that and be like, all right, cool, we made our money back. Yeah, no, hopefully they're pushing anything out. They should be focusing on these bugs. Getting this DLC going and make sure it's clean and nice. Um, and there's a multiplayer. Mode. The multiplayer maybe eventually. Like yeah, who knows? yeah, I heard about that today, and that sounds that's I, terrible. The last thing yeah. I need in this game is more people. I think. Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like yeah, it, it would be separate. We'll see. It, it probably doesn't even deserve it. Like I, I love the single player aspect. Mm-hmm. There was a couple. I can't remember. Was it EA? And like they said, the single player is like kind of dead. It's all the multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. And now all these single player games. That <laughs> was EA out. right before Fallen Order was announced as a single uh, player. Uh, and yeah, it was right before God of War came in and like took all yeah. the awards. It was like uh, after all the ago. PS5 exclusives, which have been like yeah. all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ted, have you been playing anything else? Just off the top of your head. Not, not no. particularly. Not I've been struggling through Squadrons. Um, yeah. I stopped playing it. It's yeah. I. It's very. It was. It's. It. It's fine. It's okay it really loses a lot of its luster as you play through the campaign. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I've been, so I've, I was talked to a lot of people and a lot of people said like, this is a VR must um, just, you know, with a flight game, like it's just better to look around. Yeah. And I'm using an Oculus Rift, which is great, but it's definitely not the best. And starting, I'm starting to feel it. Mm. Uh, the Oculus Rift suffers from like a lens glare problem. Yes. Uh, where the light projected to your eyes that is all around has a flare to it so imagine kind of sort of looking close to the sun all Ooh, the time so it hurts yeah it's not great but uh, you should be ted so the uh either in steam vr or oculus rift you should be able to turn down brightness like it should oh. be an option so you can have like i, I usually play like around like half brightness mm-hmm. so it's not like too bright because what both headsets suffer from is something called bleed through yeah. where it's like you'll see an object and the light will just bleed through like your side and it's like yeah. looks awful because bright mm-hmm. objects just are really bright but you could turn down, you could adjust brightness, so yeah. that may oh, help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, look in the scene VR settings or in the Oculus settings. Yeah, yeah. A lot of this that week has help. been me fidgeting with VR components settings yes. 
uh, and there's hostings. so many tweaks you need to do. It's just, yeah. it's still not friendly to the average gamer. That's what I'll say. No, it's no. Uh, very much think, hobby enthusiast. Yeah, it's actually, hmm. it's right behind you here. Uh, it is, it feels very much like a hobbiest thing. Yeah. I don't Has it I'm gotten better for you though? Like, like motion sickness wise? So the motion sickness was just once. And that's because I chose to just barrel roll Dunk my way into vomiting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> describes my friend. No, I don't know hey, you know. that's, that's a, <laughs> um, but uh, that part was fine. Uh, for me, a lot of I have a lot of trouble reading text in VR. Like it's just it Are, looks Do you blurry. play with glasses on or no, it doesn't fit. Oh, unfortunately. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> I guess the quest two offers you can buy prescription yes. implants. Yes. Prescription lessons. Which I thought yeah. was really neat. And, That's and really it doesn't cool. look like Steam yes. has done that. Yeah, that was very cool. Vibe, yeah, they have not done that. You can yeah. adjust like view, but yeah. that only helps out so much. Oh. Yeah. Um so there are there are options down the pipeline, which is very cool. Yeah. Uh, so I've just been messing around with that. I think I will. I don't. I honestly don't know if I'll beat Squadrons. We'll see. Um, but I think I will play. What is it? Uh, Phantom Covert Ops. Yeah, you were telling us about this last week, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Greatest concept in video gaming. I think I might play that, and then I might be done with VR until the we next get another another wave. Game. Yeah. Wait, but have you? You haven't played Alex yet, though, have you? I have not played Alex. You should play Alex. Mm. I don't have the space to walk around. I'm kind of stuck in a cockpit shooter esque. I mean, game. you don't need too much space. Yeah. You just need to be able to like reach the floor. If I have about sense. three feet by two like, feet to hang out in, that might be good enough. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you'll just be playing uh, a boxed in Alex. Just, as yeah. long as you can just keep tuck your hands in and alligator like arms, Alex. Yeah. Keep you. yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, exactly. T Rex arms, Alex. Um, yeah, I, I played I, uh, yeah. A, briefly. I played uh, a little bit more Elite Dangerous. I'm done with that game. That game is very complicated and very hard. But I got to play it uh, co op with a friend, and we were both in VR together. Aww. And so we both just look over and see our VR cockpit buddy uh, next to in the seat next to us. And that was very cool. Did you, cool. Did you, did you call him Ghost or, or Goose? No, I, I just called Goose. him Gunner. That's his name. Oh, Gunner. I know him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we discovered how difficult that game is, and we gave up together. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's a very the, tough game. The only thing I've been playing, and I finished it, was Ghost Runner. Can't recommend yes. that game enough. It's very good. It's very cyberpunky vibes. It's, yeah, it's more or less cyberpunk. Uh, than cyberpunk. It's it's like refined cyberpunk, where it's not. It doesn't have to be like broad. So it's like a very, cyberpunk melee combat. Yeah, it's fucking fun though. <laughs> Does I re- it emphasize the cyber or the punk. Uh, the, cyber, that's now a, a, the cyber. The point of nice. okay. because you're a robot. You're a robot yeah. man. You're a ghost Good. runner. You're a ghost runner. You are a ghost runner. And not a net runner. Not a it's net a ghost runner. runner. No. Yeah, ghost runner. Um, no, great game. I really can't recommend it enough. I'll talk about it a lot uh, next week in, uh, or two weeks from now in our Game of the Year. Awesome. Stuff. So, yes, came up for that. Game of the Year will be two weeks away tomorrow. Next week is going to be talking about more cyberpunk and kind of what we're looking forward to in 2021. Which is very exciting uh, which, as well. Which there's a lot of good stuff 2021. Yeah. I mean, very good stuff. I, and I'm, I, it's, it's funny because I'm more excited about like what's coming to platforms like mm-hmm. game pass and like yeah. what game pass is going to do. Like, it's like, that's exciting now for some reason. Skyrim is coming to like, game pass. Uh, oh, this week. Yeah. So when, when you like listen, the games that are coming out for January, all the Yakuza is coming like yeah. the three, four, five, six, like you can play zero through six. And then like the new one all on like game pass and PC. Now, are you going to play or, like or, a dragon now, James? Cause, cause uh, cyberpunk's uh, not cutting it. I, I if so, like yeah, People are really I, loving. I, like I, a dragon. I really need to play like a dragon. Like I, it's like I really do, but I wanted to like be more immersed in Cyberpunk. Yeah. I don't know if I'll like. I maybe you know what? We'll see. So well, he's here's playing my thing. it. He's playing it. If if I get another game breaking bug, I'm just gonna like park it and yeah. then do like I'm a dragon. Sure. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah that's, I was that's curious where that would end on your game of the year list. Like a dragon. Yes, because I, I need a. I mean, I, I won't probably be able to beat it in time for the list, but that's two weeks. Eh, you know, I'm off next week, so yeah, you are. I mean, th- this week, I'm I'm working, but next week, there you go. We'll see. I'll, yeah. I'll work some magic. Is is I'll crunch, Cyberpunk? Crunch some numbers. Does it have any chance of beating the Last of Us Part Two for your game of the year? Right now, no chance. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's a, I can, it's yeah. a different <laughs> game. A different kind like, of game, yeah. Last of Us just hits like a truck like with emotions and story and mm-hmm. feel and atmosphere and this game is playing like an rpg it's yeah. it's not like it's got a good story but it's not doing anything in that it's not revolutionary realm. yeah it's yeah. not it's not doing anything different 
it's not the, the game that we thought it was going to be. It's not the game we thought it was going to be. I think we do. I think we knew it. <laughs> well, no, we we do. Knew I told this. you I was getting worried about this. Yeah, game. yeah. 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 I, I think we knew this is not going to be that like game yeah. revolutionizing game. Revolution, I immediately. It's like, revolutionary oh, that it's it can't like run. <laughs> on a lot of stuff. That's how it's revolutionary. It's revolutionary that they put it out on PS4 without <laughs> checking if it would work. Yeah. Uh, imagine being like the guy who's like playing the PS4 version for test, and he's like, "Hey, it's not, it's not good." And they're well, like, it's like, "Did yeah, they get fine. anyone to test?" At that point yeah right yeah. hey you just play it on your pc Did you play the first 20 minutes yeah then the game should be fine i think we're good Is it low okay well, okay well thank you guys so much for watching the housekeeping podcast episode 39 we will be back next week with episode 40 where we talk about what we are excited about in 2021 thank you yes so much bye bye oh red it's